How's it going, everybody? We're here to check out the skins that made it in this week. And with that, we've got just a couple pieces of armor for you. The gloves and boots for the cyber set. So, of course, it's the cyber gloves and cyber boots, right? So, the gloves themselves are going to run you 149 so they are going to run a little bit more than the boots, which are actually running at $0.99. Cents. But that is the pretty typical price for Rosan gloves. And then, like I said, the boots down here are gonna run the usual boot price of 99 cents. You can pick them up to complete that cyber look. And there are those gloves. Next up, we have our deployables, and starting off, we've got a new large box, the Shadowborn large box to be specific, and it is a very bright colored and glowing box, well, more like a work of art, and uh, it will run you $249, so that is a dollar more than usual, but that is the usual glowing price. And as you'll see, there's a guy up here shooting off rockets, and boom, they're raiding these bases up on the hillside, and there's just all sorts of stuff going on in this, and I mean, you can check out all the different angles. Look, there's a boar even. Like, I I just love stuff like this that's just so incredibly detailed. Then moving on, we've got ourselves the Kaninkali Furnace. Man, you guys are really trying to murder me with these names. <laughs> one way or another, this one's gonna run you the usual one at 49 deployable price. Has a nice little adornment around the bottom and what kind of looks like almost a clay design. Then you've got all the leaves throughout, and uh, I believe it's meant to honestly look like the food is sitting in a clay dish. So there you have that. But uh, it does have a kind of nice little glow, which we'll show you here shortly. Moving on, we do have a single sheet metal door for you this week, the Blocky Lighthouse Door. So it looks like we're continuing into an official set with the Blocky, well, deployables at least. So. Here we go, the blocky door. You can see it features a lighthouse, a mini copter, hazy guy. You got a little torch new spawn and all sorts of stuff kind of going on there. Moving on, we do have a garage door for you this week as well. And this one is epic as can be. The Tomb of the Octopus. This will run you 249 as well and it is epic and glowy. So I mean, that kind of really makes sense. But the whole kind of Cthulhu Kraken thing going on just looks absolutely awesome. Let's go ahead and kill the lights so you can see the glow here. And you'll see it kind of reflects light off the roller, but the roller doesn't have too much light. It's not really a glowing roller, you know what I mean? But there you have for the glow on the door. Same thing, you have a little bit of everything lighting up here. And then the furnace, like I said, it kind of just has a nice warm little glow through the dumpling is this a type of would this be considered a type of dumpling i'm <laughs> i'm not too familiar with the dish itself so there's that then of course we've got the box and there we go all right next up we have our weapons and first up we have ourselves another piece in the snake bite set so one more and it'll officially be an accepted set. So we've got the snake bite bow. It'll run you the usual weapons price of $1.99. As you can see, there is the snake right there. Definitely a very nice kind of hand painted design that fits the kind of mood of the game. Definitely looks like something someone in the game could have made themselves. Then moving on, we've got a pumpy skin. Man, we do not see too many pump shotgun skins come through. So it's always nice to see one pop in. And we've got this very regal Imperial shotgun and uh, if you're going for heads it's got some skulls on there already for you aiming down the sights you do kind of have just the chrome on chrome there if you can even call it chrome it's more like a brushed steel I feel like uh, kind of color there but there we have that moving on to our next weapon we have the thunder gold SMG this one's gonna cost you a little bit more than usual this week just like the other counterparts in the set it's about 50 cents more so running you at 249 not too bad there. As we look around, you can see it's a very, very shiny gun, just like everything else in the rest of the set. No stock on this SMG, and aiming down the sights, you do have kind of a more white tip versus the gold there, or silver and gold, depending kind of how the light hits it. And there is that reload. 
But last but not least, we do have one more, and it's part of the Apocalypse Nomad set, which is now oh, so an officially accepted full set here. Three more pieces I, well, consider it to be an official set, so there you go. But we've got an M39, another weapon that doesn't see skins very often, so this is good for more kind of rare skins this week. And this thing is just very rusty, crusty. Man, if you ever want the M39 to not look military grade, this is it. Aiming down the sights here, it does have a unique cut sight. That is something to keep into consideration there. Look at that. So this is also a first of its kind for that sight cut, and it does have a nice little red tip to go along with it. And it only runs you one. 99. So that does it, everybody. Sound off down in the comment section below. Which ones are you picking up this week? Or if there wasn't anything, what would you have gotten instead? So I can pass it on to Elk. Thanks for watching, everyone. And as always, stay rusty.